that right there. You can't lead anything that you're not willing to protect. And sometimes we call that protection control. Hallelujah. We think folk trying to control me when all they're trying to do is protect you. He said, that's what I want. Somebody right there that will understand, sleep with them, smell with them, know how they feel. Uh, Oddly enough, she was the first thing that God mentioned in the Bible, Genesis 4 and T. It's the first animal that was ever listed. Genealogy, you know, fowls and cattle. But sheep was the first animal that was ever named in the Bible. Isn't that something? What was on God's heart first? It says that Abram was a keeper of what? Sheep. First shepherd that understood keeping sheep. Understood the nature of sheep. Understood what it was to kill a what? Sheep. And oddly enough, Jesus now will come as a sheep. That garden when Adam sinned, after walking with God in the cool of the evening, cause you hear from God don't mean you don't need protection. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your hearing from God have not exalted you above the fact that you still need a shepherd. Help me in here. Because Adam walked with God in the cool of the what evening. He heard from God, but God was his what? Shepherd. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Because you hear, it does not mean you do not need sheeping, controlling, guarding, directing, rebuking, correction. Is anybody in here? He walked with God and messed up. You can walk with God and mess up. But because you mess up don't mean God give up. Somebody say, thank God he don't give up on me. Somebody really need to praise him right there because you messed up last night. So you need to raise your hand and give God some glory right there. And like a good shepherd, when you mess up, they know it. Nobody have to tell me when my sheep mess up. Because they go into hiding. Their spirits start hiding. They don't want to be around you. They step back from you. They get offended and mad. Don't you say nothing about me. I'm grown. Huh? Who you think I am? I got to do what I got. Is anybody going to talk to me in here? Oh, your body not be, might not be hiding, but your spirit hiding. Don't look at me. Don't look at my soul. I don't know, want you to know where I've been and who I've been doing it with, but I know. in my time. I'm not before my God. I'm not praying and standing up and fasting and hearing to be ignorant. You see them hiding. And you start to call them. And the more you call them, the more they hide. And you know exactly where they are. And they take some fig trees because they've been at the feelings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they try to cover their feelings with those fig trees. Come on, somebody. But ain't no fruit coming off of those fig trees. Amen. Hallelujah. It's just dead leaves hanging off, flapping in the air. Are y'all here? And all the wind got to do is blow by and everything is exposed. And, and you know it and they know it. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Hallelujah, it's too much fig clothing in the house of God today. We got to come under real covering because figs can't cover you. Figs can't heal you. Figs can't deliver you. And he called them. Adam, where are they? I'm hiding. I, I don't want you to know where I am. Why? 
Well, because, see, I want you to know, uh, uh, Sally made me mess up. Come on, are you hearing what I'm saying? And I was lonely, and I got tired of being lonely, and I got tired of waiting on God. And you know I had to go ahead and do what I needed to do. But Adam, wait a minute, and I got naked, and I got, oh, wait a minute, who told you that you were naked? Who told you that you was lonely? What you been listening to? Who you been letting speak into your mind? What has been speaking into your spirit? Didn't I tell you that I was with you? I would never leave you and forsake you? How in the world did you get lonely? surrounded by a multitude and if you needed something why didn't you come to me and ask me because if you really wanted it all you had to do was ask me and I would have gave you what you needed even if it was a Bobo or Charlie or Sally or Sue why didn't you just come and ask me Somebody raise your hand and say, Lord, deliver me from my fears. I'm, I'm kind of hot and I'm. Tell your neighbor, say, it's a new day. It's a new day. Hallelujah, and I'm going to live in this doom day, and I'm going to enjoy this day. I feel a hallelujah. I feel a praise right there. I feel a spirit of deliverance moving in and out of the land. I feel it coming to your heart, your mind, your spirit. I feel it in your neighbor, coming to your feet, going to your lungs, in your hand, and through your mind. Somebody shout and give God a awesome praise. Bless the Lord for his goodness and all that he is. Adam's sin, he was covered with fig trees, fig leaves. God had taught Adam many things, how to hear from him, how to walk with him, taught him how to do a ceremony. Be made one with the woman. How to love. And now God was about to learn something from Adam. Adam would now teach God what it is to kill. The giver of life would have to kill in order to cover Adam. He had to find a new clothing. But he couldn't clothe Adam with anything less than himself. After all, he was made in his image. Can you see Adam hiding with those fig leaves? Now can you see God the Father? Saying I knew this day would come, but I didn't know it was going to hurt so bad. There was a lamb in the thickets slain before the foundation of the earth. The God the Father would take his clothing off, his white sheep clothing, and cover Adam's raw nakedness. And though he was dirty, he was now hid. He was now clean, not by his own doing, but what was been placed upon him. He was now wearing the Father's righteousness. Righteousness. 